Mercury, one of the four inner terrestrial planets, is also the closest planet to the Sun. Orbiting at a distance of approximately 58 million kilometers or 36 million miles. Of all the eight planets, Mercury has the most elliptical orbit. This means it is much closer to the Sun at perihelion than it is at aphelion when it is farthest from the Sun. It takes Mercury 88 days to orbit the Sun and spin on its axis every 59 days. A full day and night cycle on Mercury, the time it takes for the Sun to rise, set and rise again, would take 176 days which makes a year on Mercury shorter than its day. That's weird. One day on Mercury lasts for two Mercurian years, so that means that for one year it is constantly day, and for one year it is constantly night. Mercury is the smallest planet in the solar system, measuring 4,879 kilometers or 3,032 miles. It is only slightly larger than the Earth's moon. Jupiter and Saturn have moons larger than Mercury. To make it easier to comprehend, think of the Sun as a front door. The Earth would be the size of a 20 pence coin and Mercury would be the size of a green pea. The Romans knew of seven bright objects in the sky, the Sun, the Moon and the five brightest planets, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter and Saturn. Because Mercury orbits so close to the Sun, it moves across the sky faster than the other planets do. And because of this, the Romans named the planet after their messenger god, Mercury, who had wings on his feet. The planet can be seen from Earth with the naked eye, appearing very close to the horizon in the twilight hours of before sunrise and after sunset. Despite being very small, it appears brightly in the sky due to receiving so much light from the sun. Mercury is a planet of extreme temperatures, ranging from minus 173 degrees Celsius at night to 427 degrees Celsius during the day. Even being so hot on the day side of the planet, Mercury is not the hottest planet in the solar system, that title belongs to Venus. The extreme swing in temperature is due to the planet having virtually no atmosphere to trap heat from the Sun. Mercury does not have an atmosphere like the other planets do. It does, however, have a very thin surface-bound exosphere that contains oxygen, sodium, hydrogen, helium and potassium. Mercury has no moons and no rings, but it is the second densest planet after Earth. Mercury has an iron core, and this is what makes Mercury so dense. The core makes up 42% of the planet's volume and measures 75% of its diameter. It is also believed that this core is molten, as Mercury does have a very small but active magnetic field, about 1% of the Earth's. Mercury is the most cratered object in the solar system, and the surface is very similar to Earth's moon. It is theorized that Mercury was once a much larger planet that was hit with a smaller planetesimal in the past that caused most of the planet's material to be blown off into space. This left the planet we know today, a small, dense world with a large iron core. Mercury is also home to one of the largest craters in the solar system, the Caloris Basin, which measures 1,550 kilometers or 963 miles across. Two spacecraft have visited Mercury in the past, Mariner 10 in 1974 and Messenger which performed three flybys of the planet before going into orbit around the planet in 2011. Fun fact, even though Mercury is so close to the Sun, the Messenger probe found evidence of water ice in craters at the North Pole. Scientists will continue to study, observe and explore Mercury and the next planned mission to Mercury will be BepiColombo a joint mission with the European Space Agency and the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency due for launch in October 2018 and hopefully due to arrive at Mercury in December 2025. The mission will take seven years to reach orbit around Mercury and hopes to perform a flyby of the Earth and Moon in early 2020, two flybys of Venus in late 2020 and 2021 and six flybys of Mercury between 2021 and 2025. The mission hopes to study Mercury's magnetic field, magnetosphere, interior structure and surface and is set to conclude in 2028. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. It really does help the channel out. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, see ya!